The idea of drinking whiskey with food is considered outré by many, but there is a growing interest in pairing whiskies with complementary foods. The Scotch whiskey industry has been keen to promote this. Single malts, pot still whiskies, bourbons, and rye whiskies offer an interesting range of tastes and aromas, which are just as varied as wine. Jake Wallace Simons compares whiskies in bourbon casks to white wines, due to their lighter flavour, and those in sherry casks to red wines, with their greater fruitiness. A few Scottish cook books contain reference to the use of whisky in cooking, and a few traditional Scottish recipes that use whisky exist. Whisky is also used as an ingredient used in the preparation of various dishes and foods. History Whisky and food Many people are skeptical about the idea of enjoying whiskey with a meal. This is in contrast to other alcoholic beverages such as wine, ale, and beer that have a dated history of being consumed with meals. In the past, consuming whiskey with a meal was not influenced by fashion, but by social and geographical position. In the Scottish lowlands, whiskey was consumed only by those at the bottom of the social scale, whereas the upper class would enjoy claret or rum punch with their food. From a geographical standpoint, whiskey was consumed more often in colder climates because of the warming effect it was thought to have on the body. In truth, however, alcohol is a vasodilator, meaning it causes blood vessels to expand. As blood vessels expand, they give off heat, making one's body feel warmer even though the body is actually losing heat. Today there are a growing number of connoisseurs who pair whiskies with specific foods in order to enhance the flavor of both. This is reflected by the increasing number of books and websites specifically dedicated to whiskey and food pairings. Burns Knight has a tradition of consuming a shot of whiskey with haggis. <laughs> whiskey and cooking Few Scottish cook books contain reference to the use of whiskey in cooking. There are only a few traditional recipes such as cranachan or trifle. Lastly, most cooks and professional chefs only consider the use of brandy, sherry, or port in the cooking process. There are many theories as to why whiskey has been overlooked for a long time. One theory is that whiskey was considered too precious a drink and its use in cooking would be a sacrilege. On the other hand, another theory said that whiskey was its own worst enemy, because of its harsh flavors and aromas. Today chefs and cooks are experimenting more with whiskey in recipes. In Kentucky, a bourbon-style cooking school has been established by Jim Beam with demonstrations each September at the Kentucky Bourbon Festival. <laughs> Whiskey and food pairings When pairing whiskey with food, the characteristics of the meal it will complement is taken into consideration. Whiskey and food pairing may complement and enhance one another, such as a highly medicinal single malt Lefroy, paired with an apple crumble. Likewise, a high cocoa content dark chocolate pairs well with the subtle chocolate flavors in a Lagavulin, while a light-bodied lowland single malt may go well with a fish dish. A heavier, more aromatic whiskey may go well with beef or duck. Lighter, fruitier Japanese whiskies like Yamazaki best served chilled may go well with tuna and salmon in sushi and sashimi dishes. These combinations illustrate that there has to be a balance between the competing flavors, so that neither the whiskey or the dish are allowed to dominate and overwhelm the flavors of the other. A smoky, peaty or peppery whiskey may go well with oysters and smoked fish. There are «sweet and sour» pairings. Chili heat can be matched to sweetness in some whiskies. Lastly, an acidic whiskey can cut through a very sweet dish as well as neutralizing excessive fat or richness in other dishes. Food with strong, peaty whiskies, strong, peaty whiskies such as the Isla whiskies, Lagavulin, Lefroig, and the Brookladdy distillery, may be complementary, with tea smoked chicken, teriyaki salmon, plain dark chocolate, baba ganoush, Middle Eastern style lamb meatballs or coughed and haggis, and strong blue cheese. Food with medium bodied rich whiskies aged in sherry or European oak casks, these whiskies may go well with rich fruitcakes, roast venison, especially with caramelized roast root vegetables, ginger biscuits, sticky toffee pudding, mature cheddar, char shao pork, and seasoned or grilled steak. 
Light fragrant whiskey with a touch of sweetness. The distilleries that brew such whiskey are the Nakando Distillery, the Jura Distillery, the Glenfiddich Distillery, and the Glenkinchy Distillery, and others. Such whiskey may go well with sushi, smoked salmon, parsnip soup, bread and butter pudding, kranakan, cullen skink, smoked haddock soup, goat's cheese and cream cheese, cinnamon, ginger, pepper, and star anise may provide a spice bridge between food and whiskey. Grassy malts may be enhanced when a dish contains herbs like tarragon, basil, mint or thyme. Summer fruits may go well with malty, floral lowland whiskies such as redcurrant, while citrus fruits may be a good match with peaty isla malts. Foods Seafood Seafood dishes such as scallops go well with sweet, light, vanilla-tinged malts matured in bourbon casks. In general, smoky whiskies such as isla malts go well with fish, and are often drank with oysters or smoked salmon. Sushi Sushi can be paired with a variety of whiskies, but whiskey magazine found Talisker came out on top in testing. Ardbeg is also recommended, due to its salty, briny quality. Red meat A rich, sherried whiskey like Akintoshan 3 wood can be drunk with steak. Topic: Charcuterie and cold meats. Ardbeg's saltiness complements ham and salami. Topic: Indian food. Indian food, such as that cooked in a tandoor, goes well with smoky whiskies. Topic: Desserts. Sweeter whiskies naturally go better with desserts, such as Mortlach, a Speyside whiskey. Benrumish from Speyside goes well with chocolate. The Macallan another Speyside malt also goes well with some desserts. Lagavulin generally pairs well with plain dark chocolate. <laughs> whiskey and cooking Whiskey is ideal for cooking in stir fries or any Asian cooking and as a finishing to a dish, such as the haggis on Burns Night. Whiskey can be used as a marinade and also in fruit salads and traditional fruit cake. Whiskey can be used in the French cooking method flambé or can be used in place of flambé itself. Isla malt whiskey can be used to glaze sautéed scallops or lingoustines after they have been taken off the heat. Single malt whiskies can be used in various dishes to enhance their flavor. Some sauces include whiskey in their preparation. Whiskey sauce is a sauce in Scottish cooking, which has become popular globally. It is created by pouring an amount of whiskey into a saucepan. It is then set alight, in order to make sure that the sauce is not too bitter. Double cream is added whilst stirring. The heat is then reduced so that the sauce can thicken and finally seasoning such as salt and pepper is added. Chef Paul Rankin often uses whiskey in his cooking. See also Food pairing Scottish cuisine